Sing out tarot here with your monthly love scope for the zodiac sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the month of January 2019. Let's see what's happening with you guys, Pisces. I've been getting a lot of readings on Pisces, okay? Um, not so much as the Pisces women, but the Pisces men. So, you all guys are causing a lot of women heartbreak. Y'all need to fix that, seriously. Okay, let's see what's happening. Spirit of the universe, what are the messages you have for the zodiac sign of Pisces, sun, moon, and rising for the month of January 2019? Happy New Year, Pisces. Uh, for this entire first week, I'm still running up to the minute. And then you will see the prices will change for the new year. Okay, so right now, take advantage of up to the minute. If you're running low on funds, this is your time to get in. Two more here. Here we go. Here we go, guys. All right. We got the Ace of Swords. The Ten of Wands. And the Sun card. Under that Ace of Swords is the Nine of Cups. Under the Ten of Wands is the Magician. Under the Sun, we got the Four of Swords. Under the Nine of Cups is the Moon. Under the Magician is the Hangman. Under the Four of Swords is the Eight of Wands. Now, this is a very weird reading here. The overall energy is justice. What is happening with you Pisces? Okay. Okay, the first thing that comes to me, I had to pause this reading and I'm just looking at it. <clears throat> the first thing that comes to me that I want to throw out there is um, there could be a lot of Pisces right now that may be pregnant. And you can be pregnant by any zodiac sign. There's really no zodiac signs here. Maybe you're pregnant by a fire sign. It could be an air sign, whatever the case may be. But I kind of get the sense that this person may have ghosted you and left you by yourself and you're trying to figure out, you know, um, do I go forward and have this baby or should I get an abortion? Another thing I want to say is there's an underlining health issue with those of you Pisces that may find yourself pregnant. All right. I really want you to watch this pregnancy very closely. Maybe even go to the doctors because we got some um, problems here within this pregnancy. Another thing could be, um, uh, what do they call that? When you get pregnant, um, it could be that you, you have issues with holding children already. OK, maybe you've had numerous miscarriages uh, due to a lot of stress. I kind of get the sense that there's a lot of overwhelming stress. OK, and and especially if you, you have this sense that you're pregnant by the wrong person, there's no, you know, um, there's no balance between you and this individual. So you could be feel like feeling like you're doing this pregnancy all by yourself. Okay. And that's a little overwhelming to you. You need to get plenty of rest because I see this four of swords here. It's if you get rest, then it'll be cool. Okay. Um, but if you're still working and you're pregnant, I, I honestly don't feel like this is going to go full term. Not with this hangman here. I, I don't feel like this pregnancy is going to go full term. You you can't carry the stress that is being placed on you. And it's already hard for you to carry a baby in your womb. Okay. Um, so like I said, there's some underlining issues here. I, there's, uh, uh, there's some underlining issues here. It could be in your fallopian tubes too. Bella, cut it out. Yeah, it could be in your fallopian tubes. There's a problem here, okay? I'm just looking at this moon. You know, the moon is about secrets. You may already be getting dreams about this baby or um, just spirit could be, you know, giving you messages about this child, about, you know, uh, you being in danger in some way, okay? Also, I don't feel like this is due to drugs or anything like that. Like, you know, um, I feel like 
you're pretty healthy when it comes down to your health. But when it comes down to pregnancy, something's going on. It could even be, um, there could be a blockage in some way, like maybe a, a fibroidal cyst that you get all the time. You see how these things are falling here? I kind of get the sense that there could be like um, some sort of fibroidal cyst or something like that that kind of like blocks the flow of the baby's oxygen. So you might need to check that out. I don't know where that came from. That just that that's very heavy. Definitely get it checked out because once you get it checked out, the doctors will tell you to be on uh, bed rest if you want to carry this baby full term. Okay, maybe you didn't know anything about it and you're just getting this reading and you're like, Bella, I've been feeling some pain. I am pregnant, so you know, go check that out for me. Okay. Also, um, the shoe could be on the other foot if you are a Pisces man. Maybe you got a woman pregnant. And the other woman is dealing with these sort of issues. My message to you is to go and give this woman some support because she's stressing about you. And this is not good. This baby's not going to go full term. All right. If if you keep stressing her the way you're stressing her, you need to be there for her and you need to be very supportive. All right. Um, another thing that I get is that there could be uh, those of you. Um, if you are a Pisces woman, OK, and you get pregnant by someone else's husband, it could be karmic justice to why they are coming for this baby. There's something wrong here. I'm, I'm telling you. I do readings 24-7. So when I look at certain cards, the way they lay out, I know when there's a problem. So let me beat some of these cards down, okay? Clarify that nine of cups. The five of pentacles. So this is feeling... Betrayed, you could be feeling left out in the cold, like you don't have no help, no support. And like I said, I already told you this. You're already feeling that there's no support. There's no balance. It's not like he's happy about you being pregnant or he's supportive. You know, maybe he already has a family or something. Um, going to hang man. The sun card. Tell me more. Uh, uh, uh. The star and justice. There's a problem here. Get me into justice. Let me let me look at justice. The six of cups. Tell me more. The five of cups and page of wands. <clears throat> I also get the sense that um, th this is something that's dealing with the past. If you're in this situation, you need to reach out for a reading, okay? You you definitely need to reach out for a reading because I can't do it all here. I, I just can't do it all because it requires for me to track your past, okay? Because this is definitely the, something that's coming back from the past. Maybe you were pregnant by this person in the past and you lost that baby. And now the baby is trying to come back again. But there's there's something wrong here. It could be that you're interfering into someone else's union. Maybe you are interfering into somebody else's karmic situation because it looks like they want to take it again. We have justice here. I, I, I just don't like that. It, it's... Mm. And then the six of cut. I don't like this. There, there's something wrong with this. Okay. So if you're in this situation, I'm going to encourage you to reach out. Okay. I'm not going to talk no more about that here. All right. Okay. So on a lighter note, let's let go of the pregnancy things. Okay. So another thing, I can't even get out of the pregnancy thing because <clears throat> this is kind of every which way I go, it is centered around um, a pregnancy. All right. Now, now let me just put it this way. There are those of you that may be connected with a Pisces or you may be the Pisces yourself. If you're the Pisces yourself, it kind of represents that the partner that you're connected to is keeping secrets from you. OK, um, for some reason, I get this brink that you're carrying everything, all the burdens on your own. They're not available to talk to you, to communicate with you. They've been keeping secrets from you. OK, you've been trying to get it out of them. What's actually going on. And the truth of the matter is that there's a pregnancy that you cannot see. So whoever they've been connected with, whoever they've been creeping around with is pregnant by them. OK, it could be another water sign like yourself. And it could also be a fire sign because I've seen this in fire energy. Now, if you happen to be a, a totally different sign and you're cross watching for Pisces, um, the message here is that maybe you're trying to figure out why your Pisces is not reaching out to you. Usually, um, they're, they're communicating with you or they're talking to you. They may have sent a few texts to you, 
Okay, but as far as you actually coming together with this person, they've been trying to stay out of the limelight. The reason being is because they also have a pregnancy that they're not telling you about. Okay, so if, if, any way you go, when we're dealing in the zodiac sign of Pisces, okay, whether you are the female that may be messing with someone that got someone pregnant behind your back, or you are the one that's pregnant, or you're male, and then you got another person pregnant, and then you you have another friend or, or somebody that you were interested in, and you ghosted them because you just got too much on your plate right now. You don't know what to do as far as this pregnancy is concerned. Now, when I look at these cards, um, the, the thing that comes to my mind is that Pisces men, you could already be in a relationship with someone, and maybe you're doing a lot of creeping around. You're, you're not trying to settle with anyone. And maybe you have two other women, one that you're in a relationship with and the other one that you've been talking to, you know, like kind of like as your, 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 maybe you've been trying to tell them that you're going to be with them in a relationship or something, but then I don't know where you just picked up and you don't reach out to them no more. And it's probably because you had a, a fourth party that you ended up creeping with and they got pregnant by you. So now you're overwhelmed. You're trying to save your actual relationship. You just need to be honest with them, Pisces. I kind of get the sense that. You didn't have any plans on leaving your your main partner, okay? And you 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 fat lies to this other individual, whoever they are. You fat lies to them, telling them that you were going to eventually settle down with them, and that's not the case. That's the farthest thing from the truth, okay? And and all of this is happening to you because spirit. First of all, Pisces, you've already been through the water vertex that happened at the end of July all the way up until October. You're still up to your old ways. You're, you're not learning. Okay. And spirit is pissed the fuck off is what's happening. They're pissed off with you. Okay. So they're sending you through these obstacle courses that could li literally shake you loose of all the partners that you have. Okay. So you need to be very careful. You need to be direct and very honest with whatever you got going on. <clears throat> Like I said, uh, Pisces women, if you're connected to another Pisces or you happen to be connected to a water sign, I kind of get the sense that it could be water too. If you're Pisces and you're you're hooked up with a Cancer or a, a Scorpio, um, it kind of seems to me that, I don't know, I just feel like you're in a relationship with this person and there's no communication with this individual. Okay, maybe you're left at home to take care of the kids. Maybe you already have kids by them and they're claiming that they're out there working, but then they're really like cheating on you and, and they got somebody pregnant and they don't know how to tell you that. Clarify that magician. The devil and the queen of swords. Okay, so this could definitely be um, Pisces if you're connected to a Libra or Gemini or Aquarius. Okay. This could be the other person. This could be the karmic soulmate that you're tied to. This could be your main partner. Okay. But outside of that relationship, there, there's still a pregnancy that's going on. All right. I feel like there's still a pregnancy that's going on for some reason. Uh, let me, let me, I don't know which way to go. Four, four swords, five of wands, two of swords, And the King of Swords. So if you're connected, Pisces, to Aquarius, um, this could be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini, okay? This might be the person that you're ghosting. This is the person that you're not telling um, any secret. You know, the one that you keep telling that you're going to actually settle down with might be Aquarius or um, Libra. And you're not, you, you don't have any intentions on settling down with this person. But you also have another ear sign that you're tied to, Okay. Or this could be the person that's actually pregnant. Maybe that is the karmic partner, the one that's coming in that's pregnant by you, Pisces. Okay, but you're not telling them what it is, okay? There's a blockage that you put up. You're not communicating with them right now uh, because you don't want your secret to get out, that you, you have this competition. I kind of get the sense that this is a bunch of people that are fighting over one individual, especially if you're Pisces male, okay? Just be honest, Pisces. I don't even know which other way to go because this is like highlighted in the month of January for you guys. Like I, I can't get around this. This is definitely one of those readings where I just uh, speak about exposure to something that's coming to light. This is the aha moment. This is, oh, that's why you didn't call me. This is why you were only texting me and you, you wasn't calling me or you wasn't trying to hook up with me because you had this going on. You should have told me that sort of thing, you know? Okay, so this is about definitely secrets getting out, all right? I feel it's pregnancy very heavy. I'm just going to throw it out there, okay? Now, if you're not the one that's pregnant, it doesn't matter. You're Pisces, you're a female, you're not the one that's pregnant. You got to check your partner, all right, and what they're doing behind your back. 
when I see pregnancy in a zodiac sign, it is not always like I seen it in Taurus and Sagittarius, very heavy. But then I would have Sagittarius women that was connected with a Taurus man. The Sagittarius wasn't pregnant, but her man was a Taurus and he had got a Libra pregnant. You see? So when I see pregnancy in the sign, just because you're not the one pregnant, you got to check who you're connected to, your circle. All right? Because this is definitely going to come out in the month of January. You can tell me all about it in a comment board. Or some of you can come and, you know, hit, hit me up. We can do a fly on the wall and find out if it's your partner. Okay? Because it kind of seems like it's kind of hard for you to talk to this person. They're shutting down. They're not trying to tell you. They can be very afraid of losing you. Okay? All right. So let's see what this Oracle card has for you. Let's see what's happening with Pisces. And it's this crazy energy for Pisces because Pisces usually fly up under the radar. You don't really hear much about Pisces, but lately I'm telling you, I've had nothing but Pisces partners come in and it's usually the women that are saying, well, he ghosted me. He's not talking to me. He's not communicating with me. What's going on? Well, this is what's happening. That's why he's not communicating with you. Okay. Especially if you're Aquarius. All right. And, and you're trying to figure out what's happening with your Pisces guy that has went AWOL on you. OK. And I think in the, in the zodiac sign of Aquarius, I believe that, yeah, you, go back and listen to the Aquarius reading, especially if you're Aquarius. OK. It didn't say anything about the Pisces being pregnant because I didn't pull cards on the Pisces. But if I had pull cards on the Pisces, it probably would have showed me this other situation that's happening. OK. But like I said, um, for the zodiac sign of Aquarius, just sit back, you know, just let it flow. Everything's going to come out in the open anyway. Okay, let's go. What's the message, Pisces? Simplicity. Okay. Card number four. Let's see what they're talking about. All right, it says, bow to that which is simple. You will find answers to your most complex issues and those questions that seem to defy the possibilities of an answer. You'll find answers, okay? You will find the solution now through simplicity. Live one day at a time. Have gratitude for whatever you possibly can. Even if you are yet to understand why you should be grateful because you cannot perceive the gift hiding within your struggles quite yet. Trust in the goodness of life, seeking to serve you into becoming the fullness of all that you are. Yes, beloved, even in your dark, darkest night, the light of love is serving you. The most sophisticated of problems can be resolved through a simple answer. Love, trust, have faith, be patient, wait, and you shall see. Let simplicity be. This oracle brings you an answer. Everything is going to be all right. Don't add fuel to the fire and look for ways to sort out complicated matters prematurely. OK, so don't trip on them yet, because if you trip on them, it's going to cause them to go into a, a cocoon and they're not really not going to tell you anything. OK, so some of you probably already started tripping. All right. And this person has already just cut you off. All right. Sometimes ingredients need to cook and percolate so that they can become a meal. The circumstances with which you are struggling with will write themselves in time. Stay present and be patient. Pray in your in your own way. Meditation time in nature, dance, and literally talk to the divine. When you need to take a clear, simple action, you will feel it. Relax and know it is all going to work out for the best. And then the message say, there is peace for one whose heart is open. So this could be difficult energy that you guys are dealing with, okay? Especially if you've been with a person for a long time, you're Pisces, you've been with your partner for a long time and you don't understand why you're having all these problems right now or why this person is not communicating with you or talking to you. You know, should I leave them, Bella? No, don't leave them. Just sit back and just be quiet, okay? Because I try to tell you people, if you've been with a person for a very long time and you start to have problems, you're going to, okay? It's it's, it's inevitable. You can't get away from it. If you're going to be with a person for a long time, then they're going to go through many vertexes. They're going to go through many lessons so that they can still learn, okay? So your perfect impression of what a relationship should be would be tainted if you have expectations to the perfection. Just relax and go through your process because you still got to learn. Okay. It's no different than a woman who is out here, who's bouncing from partner to partner. Okay. There's no difference between that woman that's bouncing from partner to partner or that woman, that woman that's been with that man for 20 years. They are both going to learn their lessons, whether it is with someone or with multiple people, spirit is going to enforce the lessons. Okay. 
I love you much. Like, share, comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit your notification button. Take advantage of up to the minute, okay? Um, that's a way, if, if you you don't have much money right now, it's tax season. Um, Christmas and everything is over. But if you only got $20, okay? I got twenty one eighty, Bella. I need to talk to you about this certain situation. Is this me? Or whatever this case may be, okay? I will help you guys. That's why I'm running up to the minute. After this week, it'll be cut off and we'll go into the 2019 pricing, okay? I love you so much. Until next time, thank you, Pisces.